second year is extremely important like the topics you will be studying in second year are the basics for your third year and fourth year i am rohit pivia a third year medical student in madurai medical college and in this channel i make videos about these academic mbbs sort of videos so if this sounds like a cup of tea then do subscribe when i first entered into second year some people were telling that second year is called the honeymoon year of uh, mbbs I actually have no idea why they call this the honeymoon year because second year will be very tight it will be really tight we have like three important very important subjects pathology pharmacology microbiology all of them are extremely important so we need a strategy to learn how to exactly study them well isn't it and that is exactly what i'll be talking about in this video in this video i'm going to be specifically talking about microbiology how to study the subject microbiology properly in your second year if you are just about to start your second year this video is exactly for you because this is the video that i would want to watch before i start second year so i'm going to talk about what is microbiology what are the books for microbiology how to study microbiology and why should you study microbiology so like this is the like the basic main frame of all these similar videos so let's go with what is microbiology microbiology is the study of microorganisms simply put but there are like millions like infinite number of microorganisms in this world only a few of them cause some diseases in uh, human beings so in microbiology we are going to study the microbes that are pathogenic that can cause disease so you can study this as the like the basic feature all of the organisms that we will be studying in microbiology are going to be causing some sort of problem or some might be helpful we won't really be studying lactobacillus in great detail but however lactobacillus will help us form curd simple right so we will be studying about microorganisms in uh, microbiology straight forward that's it so i'm going to talk about what is the book you should follow for microbiology or in fact let me talk about what are the resources you should use for uh, microbiology so your primary resource should always be a book you should not choose something else your primary resource should be a book uh, because this is a mistake in my case i actually started using sketchy as my primary resource and my book as a secondary resource so obviously my knowledge will be somewhat less in microbiology so that's a sad state in my scenario i don't want you to do the same mistake buy a book get a good book follow that book that book should be your primary goal so now the question that follows is what is the book you should be using there are like a lot of options in this world for books you can go with a variety of options but the book that i used is apurva shastri i'll not really say that i have completed every single page of this book but uh, i would have probably done like three fourth of this book thoroughly and the concepts given in this book the way it is presented is really amazing and uh, this book also includes uh, parasitology so this is definitely an amazing book to go with you won't regret studying apurva shastri it's an amazing book there are also other books like uh, i don't clearly remember the name these are the names the other books there are also are like good books you can definitely use them apurva shastri is what i use i can talk only about apurva shastri so it was an amazing book i am i don't regret uh, studying from it and my second resource in fact my my true primary resource is sketchy uh, sketchy is like the set of these animated uh, videos uh they are like mnemonic visual mnemonics basically if you watch one video you'll get an idea about what sketchy actually is it has actually helped me to remember everything in a great detail very nicely like uh, for example streptococcus streptococcus every all the microbes will be given in great detail as a visual mnemonic and you know all the important points in uh, in great detail so sketchy also really helped me but i should tell you that sketchy should not be your primary resource it's just some mnemonic they give you like very very few points you have to go with something else also you should be using a book and uh, the third is uh, marrow microbiology i i have subscribed to marrow i talked a lot about marrow in this uh, youtube channel as well um marrow microbiology it was okay uh, but uh, i won't really recommend watching it um, it's it's your choice because i, I have no right to comment about a faculty's expertise she's obviously better than the faculty is obviously better than me in microbiology so i'm not going to comment uh, on the way her teaching is but uh, it's a choice but uh, i wouldn't say that i will recommend watching all these single videos that's it and you can also do the marrow few bags around say so these are the resources that you can use for microbiology we are done with what is microbiology what are the resources you should use for microbiology now coming to the most important thing why should you even put the effort into studying microbiology what's the point like once you become a doctor what's the point in knowing about the various microbes i mean this this like this is like the most obvious question like we have been studying about microbes since our childhood we have got pharyngitis and it is most likely due to streptococcus and uh, yeah the, the, like microbes are very common right like it's it's just very common we'll be studying about plague and it's caused by yersinia pestis a microbe yeah we'll be studying about covid that was the essay question in uh, our uh, university exam so you can see the importance of microbiology like it is so important that 
everyone in this world is now currently studying microbiology that's how important microbiology is like coronavirus like that look how am how amazing important it is it's a extremely important hepatitis also important so anyways now that you have understood the importance of microbiology i strongly recommend you to study microbiology in great detail in your second year please don't uh, skip uh, studying it um i don't think anyone will actually call microbiology boring it's actually very very interesting every single microbe is like a different different personality so it's like you're studying a novel about every single personality staphylococcus is a person who is so and so uh, streptococcus is a person who is so and so e coli is a person who is so and so he has different characteristics he has different members in his family uh, e tech e hack all these things so it's like it's very very interesting so i personally find microbiology to be really really interesting how if you find it boring please let me know in the comments down below i'll make a video about how to make microbiology interesting how to actually start loving micro because i honestly believe that i love microbiology and i know its importance completely so definitely let me know in the comments down below and also you can uh, let me know if you want any other videos from my side i'll be more than happy to publish some videos for you guys and in this video i have talked about how to study pharmacology what is pharmacology kind of in the same interface so check it out it will definitely be helpful for you and as always thank you for watching see you soon